These are the X switches, and they're honestly kind of in a league of their own. The X switches are long pole linears, factory looped with both 205 and 105G. Manufactured by B-Sun, these switches come at a pretty nice price of just 42 cents per switch, so they are in the lower price range for switches. Plus, since they're factory lubed, they come ready to go right away for your build. Not only are they using pretty uncommon materials for the top and bottom housings, but they have a unique sound signature that gives off a more subtle soft touch to the overall linear switch. Usually, we tend to see the use of more centralized materials, such as palm, nylon, and polycarbonate. But the X-switches are introducing two uncommon materials that we don't typically see being used on switches. Our top and bottom housings are made of POC, also known as polycatone, and have a milky white color to them. While our stem is made out of a modified LY material similar to the stems within Calvin's favorite switches, the SOT switches, and they also have a light blue color. We couldn't find the exact weight of the spring, but the operating force is 45 grams and the bottoming out force is 52 grams. Now we're going to go ahead and compare the X switches to some mode obscuros and S1 peaches. Also since these are already factory lubed, we won't be messing around and re-lubing them. So these switches are definitely something special. One thing I noticed almost right off the bat is that there's absolutely no scratch coming from these switches. And while these switches are not as loud as the Obscuras or S1s, their overall sound quality competes against a lot of other switches that we've taken a look at in the past. With no leaf noise and virtually no spring ping, these switches sound great factory lubed and don't really need any tuning. Now here's where the uniqueness of the switches materials come into play. Both POC and LY are known to be incredibly smooth materials when it comes to friction. Polycatone's coefficient for friction comes in at 0.4, and the LY material comes in at 0.3. The high friction of the two materials doesn't necessarily mean that these switches are going to be extremely difficult to press, or anything like that, but they do give off a softer resistance. Pretty much, these switches are very, very smooth, and are a bit on the quieter side as well. These switches also do have a larger and thicker spring, so they are a bit harder to press compared to the Obscuras and S1s. One of the last things you would want in your switches is stem wobble, and thankfully with the X switches, you don't have to worry about that. These switches have virtually no stem wobble, which ends up leaving you wondering why these aren't incredibly expensive. Since the stem wobble is nicely controlled, there's no reason to waste your time filming. Filming these would virtually have no effect and would honestly just waste your money and time. A lot of switches these days feel more and more closely related to each other than they used to feel a couple years ago. Although the thought of buying switches made from newer, uncommon materials might be a scary decision to make, a change of pace from the usual norm is pretty nice. And thankfully, these switches feel just as good as your bank account will feel after not wasting more money on some more mainstream, expensive switches. So my suggestion is to just try these switches out and feel them for yourself. You won't be missing out if you do. 
You can join the group buy for these switches now, which started on April 28th and will last for about 3-4 to four weeks on Unikeys. This is one more small step in the history of switches, and more things like this are yet to come sometime soon in the future.